we walked around the various tombs, the sights amazed us, but as yet, we had not found what we were looking for. So we carried on searching tomb after tomb. We have come thousands of miles and now we are about to see what some believe to be the family of Joseph arriving in Egypt. The scene in front of us indicates a migration of Semitic people into Egypt. Women, children, animals and men walking with weapons as the Bible describes. These Semitic people are clearly different from the depictions of Egyptians all around them. For they have fairer skin, sharper features and the men have pointed beards. These depictions date to the time of Joseph and those characterised are wearing multi-coloured coats. The Bible says that when Joseph invited his family to live in Egypt that he gave them all new clothes. Could it be that the very thing that had divided them when Joseph was young, the multi-coloured coat, was now a symbol of a gift that was bringing them back together? For many scholars, this scene can be simplified by explaining them away as nomadic traders from Canaan or Syria. If these scholars are right, then the indications from the Bible about what Joseph's family would have looked like is correct. Yet for many people, this scene is more than just a group of traders, but it is a painting of Joseph's family arriving in the land of Egypt. And as we studied what we saw before us, we understood why some believe this to be the case. Number one, the scene dates to the time of Joseph. Number two, it shows Semitic people arriving in Egypt. Number three, they came...